All things Randy at RandyRhodes.com. Go, go for launch. Speaking truth to power, the Randy Rhodes Show. All right, so I want you to get out a piece of paper and a pen. Uh, and I want you to uh, write down these instructions, or if you're lo- if you're watching this on the internet, if you happen to be in front of a computer right now, or if you're on your phone and you can do two things at once on your phone, uh, I want you to try doing this um, because this is a way for us to complain to the Eleventh Circuit Court of Appeals, who is Aileen Cannon's boss, right? They oversee her procedures. They oversee her court. They make sure that she is uh, procedurally accurate, right? And that is why they have overruled her, overturned her decisions twice already, uh, because it was it's very clear to them that there's something not right about her judgeship. Either she's inexperienced, she's afraid of Donald Trump, or she's biased for him, or it could be all three things. But the 11th Circuit is very well aware of the issues with Aileen Cannon's stewardship of this Espionage Act national security case. It's really important. So Glenn Kirshner, who uh, has a show called Justice Matters, and it does, uh, is going to walk you through, and he's lamer than lame when it comes to the Internet, okay? Really, really not good at uh, web stuff. He'll tell it to you himself. But um, as he as he describes, I will show you. OK, I, I will try and show you because I'm pretty bad at it, too. <laughs> okay. So we're going to talk about how you can go about filing a judicial misconduct complaint form for the way Aileen Cannon has disqualified herself from continuing to preside over the Florida federal prosecution of Donald Trump. And we're going to start by going to U.S. Courts dot gov www.uscourts.gov mm-hmm. and once you're there you're going to click on menu i told you this would be kind of my third grade approach to working through a website and a macro somebody can oh, send there. me a comment and tell me if macro is the right word here or not <laughs> not that i have the c- capacity to learn anything about computers so you click on menu You then click on judges and judgeships. You then click on judicial conduct and disability. You then click on frequently asked questions, filing a judicial conduct or disability complaint against a federal judge. You'll see this page and you'll scroll down to number four. How do I file my complaint? And you'll then go to the form. Then you'll download the form. And at long last, if I have explained this correctly, you're now looking at the complaint of judicial misconduct or disability form. Okay. I'm going to show this to you. Um, I'm going to do it on on my computer right here because you you don't even need to go to the menu, okay? So this is the site, uscourts.gov, right? And what you're going to do here is go to judges and judgeships right there. There's going to be a drop-down menu, right? And uh, you're going to go to the second to last, judicial conduct and disability. Click on that. And then it'll show you judicial conduct and disability. And you're going to go to frequently asked questions right here. You scroll down ever so slightly. Click on that. Now you're at the FAQs filing a judicial conduct or disability complaint against a federal judge, and you just want to click on number four, how do I file my complaint? And right here it says, how do I file my complaint? And you could go crazy looking for the form, but it's in the first sentence. It's, it's literally a link in the first sentence. It says, you may use the form, click on the form, And then you download the form on the big blue bar there, okay? And what you're going to get is a two-page. It's it's a two-pager. There's really nothing to it. You see it? It's just a real straightforward two-pager. Print it out. Print it out. Once you print it out, this is it, okay? It's really short. There's nothing to it. Page one, 
and page two. Nothing to it, right? Okay, so now let's go back to Glenn because he's going to give you the information you need to fill out this form. Now, friends, for the most part, this is self-explanatory, but let me give you some of the sort of details, some of the technical information you'll need to fill out this form. Yes. So it starts by asking you your name, your contact address, a daytime telephone number, the name of the judge, of course, is Judge Aileen Cannon. Mm -hmm. And then under number two, it asks the court. The court is the U.S. District Court for the District of Florida. Okay, let's pause it there because I'm going to write it with you. U.S. District Court for the District of Florida. Okay. Number three, does this complaint concern the behavior of a judge in a particular lawsuit or case? You're going to check yes. Yes. And it asks, again, for the name of the court, the U.S. District, District Court for, for the, the District, District of, of Florida. Florida. And then it asks the case number. All right. And it is case number 23-80101-CR-CANON. Dash dash okay. After that, it asks if you're a party or a lawyer, you're neither, so you can check the box, neither. Okay. And then moving on to page two, you'll see section four. That's where you put your brief statement of facts. And friends, I won't tell you what to put in your brief statement of facts, but there are lots of news articles and other accounts <laughs> out there about you know, not only how Judge Cannon has botched and, and mangled and mismanaged the case, but there's plenty out there about her lack of impartiality. So um, I'll leave it up to you uh, what to put in your brief statement of facts. What I will do is I'll put a link to the Salon article that I referenced a few minutes ago. I'll put a link in the description of this video because it has quotes from people like Eric Holder and Ty Cobb about their assessment of how Judge Cannon has been presiding over Trump's case down in Florida. Okay, I'm going to pause there because I put the Salon article in the homework today. It's at randyroads.com. Homework. Free, obviously. If you go there, you will see Glenn Kirshner's video. You will see the link to the U.S. court site. And you will see the Salon article that he's referencing to help you just make a brief statement of facts, meaning she botched the case. She has been overturned by the 11th Circuit. He, the reason why nobody is going to tell you what to put, but have you read a few things about it first, is because you have to say, under penalty of perjury, you believe it to be true that she has done this or that. You can even attach the uh, articles if you want to, if, if that makes you, uh, you know, feel more confident about what you're submitting. And then you sign it. Don't have time to listen to the live show? Want to hear more on your schedule? Go to randyroads.com and buy a stinking podcast.